With the holidays upon us, you have more than enough time to bring your kids along to STEM and into the world of engineering. And today I've got my kids here. So we've got Austin. Hi. And Adam. Hi. And we're going to be building a straw tower. By this, we're about to show them some basic mechanics of structural engineering and some of the things I need to think about. We're also going to be putting in some additional restrictions, meaning I have to meet those client briefs. So you have to think about the engineering in a different way. So what we're going to be using is some straws, some sticky tape, some measuring, and some weights and other restrictions that we need to deal with. So the first up, we need to make sure the tower is at least the height of this ruler. Second up, it needs to be able to hold this jug of water on the top. And also, the monster truck needs to drive through the middle of it. So let's get into it. So first up, we've got to measure how high the monster truck is because yeah. we make sure that it's tall enough. Let's use the one to 100 because that's going to be the easiest scale. So how tall is the monster truck? Uh, five meters. <laughs> six meters. Six centimeters. Seven. So we need to make sure we've got a hole in the middle that's six centimeters high. And how wide does it need to be to let the truck through? Um, seven. So it needs to be seven centimeters wide, right? <laughs> so we've got to make sure we've got a hole that can fit this truck through. That's about six centimeters high and seven centimeters wide. Yeah. Now, if we're looking at this bucket, we have to look at how wide this is. So we'll go back to the 100 again. We've got how wide does it need to be? Six and a half, right? Six and a half. So we need to make sure that we've got a storage point at the top that's about six and a half, right? Yeah. It needs to be, we know this wheel is about 30 centimeters tall, so we've got to make sure the tower is also 30 centimeters tall. We've got a couple of things. So when we've got the height of the tower, we've got to break it up into a logical distance, right? Yeah. So we know that we've got to have at least a seven centimeter gap. So means we can spread it out a little bit more, so maybe we'll make it 10 centimetres. And we know to break it up evenly, we need to make it up in about 10 centimetre increments. So we're going to have three heights. What is three times four? Three times 30, 12. And look, they're roughly about 20, so we've got to cut them in the middle. So what we're going to do is make them all even and measure it out, because precision is another really good way to make things really even. Can you cut that one? Okay, go go. Oh. Three days later. So, we're going to build some frames. I'm going to see which one's going to be stable first. So, we just built a box. So, we're going to build a box up first. Mm, not stable. Not stable. It's very wobbly, right? I see it like. Yeah. It makes like a parallelogram, right? So we've got four different ways that we can brace out a structure, right? So we've got this one. Do we think this one's very braced? No. How come? We'll have a look, feel it. Yeah. It can move. Okay. And, and there's no um, crossing in the middle. Yes. Well, this one here, look, it's got the cross brace through. Do you think this one's solid? Yeah. So what's happening is when we're trying to rack it, it's either putting compression or tension in this bar to brace it out. Well, this one can use a strap. So we can do the same thing, right? You tried, you can try this one. Look, what happens when I push it down one side, we can get tension in one side, but the other side becomes loose. When I do it the other way, the other side gets taut, right? So it's just changing the tension between each face. Where this one, which you can't see, this one's going from tension to compression. It's changing the direction of the force. I was wondering the cross brace, because if we go a bit of sticky tape, right? If I pull it taut, I was able to reduce that tension, right? Yeah. Where if I shrink it, it, it collapses, right? Mm -hmm. So it has no good point in compression. So that's why for the cross bracing one, we need to have two braces. Now this one is a little bit different. If we try and push this one over, you try and push this one over, no, do it sideways, right? It's quite stable that direction, right? Yeah. And do you want to try? No, this way. Push. No, like this. Right? It's quite stable. This one's got a bracing frame, right? So, so now we've got three options. This one is no good because it's not stable, so we put this one off to the side. So now we've got three options. We've got this one, this one. Do you think the monster truck can drive through? Uh. No, crash. How about this one? Crashes, right? But how okay. about this one? How about this one? Do you think the monster truck can drive through this one? It can, right? So which ones do you want to build one of the, another one of these ones to brace it? Or use this one and this one to brace the tower? This one. You want to build another one of these ones? 
So we have two of these ones at the bottom. Yes. So the other direction, we've got to make sure we're, sta we're stable through here so the monster truck can drive through, right? So it can go, yeah? Yeah. So it needs to make sure we've got the open area. Maybe we can use the different ones on all four sides, right? So we can do this one, this one, and then we'll just brace it out to form up the first level. Okay? Yeah. How's that wipe sound? Do you think that's a good idea? Good plan? Maybe they could be a cross brace straight. You could put a cross, a straight cross brace as well. Right? It's a lot more stable now. We can still drive the monster truck through. Can we try? Nah. It drives in, right? Think it drive up and over. Uh, boom, boom. Did it get through? Yeah. Let's move away. We got through, right? Can it hold the weight of the sticky tape, do you think? I have tried holding this. You can try. Does it hold it? Monster yeah. truck? And the monster truck. The monster truck needs to go through the middle. Yeah, because it will break. It, the, the grand thing it will break the whole one. Is this tall enough now if I put this one on? Mm. It is, right? Okay, so should we build another one like this? Yeah. So we've braced the top now, but you're saying we've got to brace the sides, right? How do you want to brace the sides? Mm, like both connected to both. And how? Them. Which, which, with these, the, this cross bracing or which way? Cross bracing. Still wobbly. Yeah, it's still wobbly because we haven't got the bracing points, right? You put a cross bracing here, like, because this is broken. So Not, you can yeah. put a big cross bracing yeah. to get so stable. We're going to make, sure, make sure all the columns are aligned first through just by adding some tension ties between them. Is it wobbly now? Yeah. Is it wobbly now? It's yeah. good now, right? You want to try it? Let's see if it meets the final brief of being able to support the tape. And the monster truck, can the monster truck drive in? Oh, oh, oh. Oh no, what was happening? It's tilting. It's tilting. Yeah, let's try and sh see, look, it's stable now, but let's put the weight on top and see what happens. Oh no. I make it. It crashed. I don't make it good. You're gonna try and build it back up again. So obviously we've gone through some stem. We went some. What did we learn today? You have to make it really stable. Make it stable by putting the cross bracing in, right? And there's different type of cross bracing, such as the solid ones and the cross bracing under tension. And we also know that we've got the joint problem. See, it's bending at this point. So we didn't have any continuity through here. Was our problem, right? We should have had a continuous straw to make this area work. Because look, it's stable from this point, just falling from the top, right? So there's a problem at this junction that we needed to fix up. But it was interesting, wasn't it? Yeah. And if you're interested in this type of content, there's another video here where I went through with my kids about how different aspects of structural mechanics as well. And if you're interested in supporting your channel, there's two ways that you can do this. You can either become a YouTube member or a Patreon member. Without the support on YouTube or Patreon members, this type of content would not be possible. And as always, stay safe, keep learning, and we'll see you next week. Bye. Bye. I only help you cut. Hmm? You can. I only help cut. Daddy, do you know I can cut two at the same time? Okay, we'll try and cut two, but 